So, after many a year, we finally get a movie we've been wanting. <laughs> yeah. When's that supposed to come out now? Summer of 2018. Actually, June 15th, I think they said. June f- June of 2018, Incredibles 2. Yeah, finally! <laughs> been waiting so long. <laughs> uh, uh, finally! Yes. I loved that first movie so much. It was a good movie. It really was. It's my favorite Pixar movie. So, yeah, this past couple weeks have been interesting, but... Uh-huh. Yeah. But we're going to talk about ponies, so let's get to that. Hey, welcome to Pony 411. This is episode 205 for the week of November 19th. I am Alcatraz, and with me is Nemesis. Hey! Just as usual. So yeah, we're now in our bi-weekly mode, so... Yep. And uh, I'm pretty sure, yes, we are going to stay bi-weekly for a while. Yeah, if, if things keep up the way they yeah. are. Yeah, that was what kind of touch and go with the whole Quest Your Girl short thing, but... Yeah. <laughs> I totally called it. Yeah, that was totally that was it. weird. <laughs> totally did. You got the number right. Well, sort of. Sort of. I mean, they threw it more later, but the, yeah, we have an extra week to go through. Anyway, we've got our standard load of news, and you know that's a that's a lot of news. But I was expecting a little bit more for two <laughs> weeks. Yeah, everything will slow down a bit. Yes, we're fully in hiatus mode. Anyway. Like I said, we got some news. We are going to talk about those Equestria Goals shorts, and we do have a comic to talk about. Yep. Uh, and then a little bit of fan content. A little bit. Not a huge amount. And that's it. So let's get into the news first, as we always do. If you would like to follow along, you can find our show notes at pony411.libsyn.com slash show notes. Remember, that's spelled L-I-B-S-Y-N. So go there, click the link for this episode, and let's get to this. In convention news, Windy City PonyCon is back for 2018 with their theme of Old Chicago. Yeah, that'll be interesting. Mm -hmm. I wonder if we'll get any, like, Broadway-esque musicals. Or gangster ponies. Yes. (laughs) Yes, so registration for guests, like guests of honor and such like that, um, badge registration, and hotel reservations are now open, actually. So Mm -hmm. go get to that if you are planning on going. And High Roller PonyCon has changed venues. Uh, apparently, the D did not want them anymore for being, quote, too conservative. So they kicked them out, and they found a new venue. And they've actually found a much nicer venue yeah. this time. The problem, you know, actually, the, I think the problem was the pony thing. They found the pony thing was not too conservative enough. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's what I meant to say. It's, yeah. Yeah, I was like, you made it sound, I, co- you were completely backwards. Well, not conservative enough. Yeah, it, yeah, sa- it thinking... says right here in their little uh, blurb, we were informed that our demographic was not, quote, conservative enough for the image of the hotel. It's, it's like, the D you... is too conservative, <laughs> right. apparently. Right, sure, sure. It was, I was just, mm. Yes, but that's that's what's what's going on there, a apparently. New, a new venue, what's the new venue? I can't remember, it's the, uh, where was it? in there somewhere yeah i know <laughs> we're the renaissance yes the yes. renaissance it's like right across from the monorail in the area and a That's lot a quarter closer mile to from the strip yeah it's a lot closer to the strip so monorail. it's a better venue in general monorail yes apparently what really sucks is the liaison that they had with the d got fired for it as well wow yeah, yeah it's pretty lame but anyway they did find a new venue and like the d this one is paid in full already mm-hmm and they did get a refund, at least. Oh, they got good. their. They said they got their money back from the D. Boy, so if I were them, I would have pitched a fit. Oh, in there would have been legal action involved there, probably. But in lighter news, they have also announced Vincent Tong. Hmm. So, hey. Right. Into fandom news, the BBC did a follow-up interview with two of the bronies from the mini-documentary that they had a little while back. Mm-hmm. And more progress on that SweetieBot project has been made. It's the latest prototype appearing at Derpfest this year. Mm. So, yeah, it's continuing right along. That's definitely one to keep an eye on. 
Version 0.6 of the Fallout Equestria Remains game has been released, and this is that flesh-based side-scrolling one that's been out for a while. Slowly updating. Slowly updating, but it is still alive. And Hasbro brought up the idea of buying out Mattel, <laughs> but then Mattel rejected the offer. Womp womp. I believe it's they said the first cons- time. Yeah, I believe they said concerns of running afoul of the FTC. Yep, pretty also much. Also undervaluing the company. Yeah, so There's those two things are the big things, and uh, yeah, I would not be surprised that two of the biggest toy winkers combined merging would uh. Yeah, go I'm pretty sure well. the FTC would not allow that. I don't know anymore. Eh. We'll see. <laughs> but anyway, they rejected it. Mm. So no pony Barbie crossovers. No. <laughs> And recently, YouTube has been suspending accounts that have videos with the word New Lunar in them. This is a very recent thing that just popped up and is apparently already being resolved. Slowly, but it's happening. It it is a thing. Apparently, a bunch of porn bots were uploading stuff with that in their title. Yep. And the YouTube automated algorithm well was Decided. stupid like they usually are and just started straight up suspending accounts even those that have been in good standing and this unfortunately impacted a lot of bronies because of new lunar republic yep that was a very big thing entire channels are wiped out yep because it didn't it didn't just mark the videos it yeah. just straight up suspended the account no warning mm-hmm a couple of them even got a, initially got a message saying, oh, we are, the suspension will hold. Yeah, they did the appeal of it and got like immediate back, nope, it's staying. It's, it, we're not undoing it. So it's like, Which wow, tells me, yep, Once again, also automated. Yep. Wow. That's just, they need, really need to fix their algorithm systems. No, but it's perfect though. <sighs> no, it's, it's learning. It's Don't learning. Worry. Don't worry, it'll fix itself. It never fixes itself. It doesn't fix itself. If anything gets worse. <sighs> Maybe you should bring in some human moderation. More human moderation. Anyway. Speaking of music. Speaking of music, Ponies at Dawn is now taking submissions for their next album. So, if you are a musician, get on that. Mm. It's a good album. It's a good compilation to get a part of. And speaking of compilation albums, A State of Sugar has released their second album, Candy. That just came out as of re- shortly as of recording. So they've been I setting up for that. Candy. Yeah. State of Sugar is, I believe, more trance-like. It's more hmm. genre-specific. But it's cool that we have those. Those are pretty big and pretty cool. Into merchandise news, a preview for Tales of Equestria, Bestiary of Equestria, is now up, along with a release date. In the U.S. and stuff, yeah. apparently. It's been delayed here. Yes, and this is the beastie area of Equestria. It's not a like a actual campaign, but it's a whole bunch of information that yep. let, lets you build your own. Monsters and stuff. Yes. It's a monster book, so you can build your own campaigns using actual, you know, stuff. Buckle Down is selling a bunch of MLP apparel, like wallets and belts and such. It looks to be mainly stuff that was on Hot Topic, uh, hmm. although it's not exactly... Exactly. It's yeah. styled very much like the stuff we used to have, but you can see those little differences. And interestingly enough, I'm curious if some of those look like they're using fan vectors. But right. I don't know how they're how they get their artwork and things in there. Google. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I noticed on one of their Rainbow Dash wallets, there's some things in there that have never appeared in the show. Hey, wait a second. All right, wait a minute. But anyway, if you are looking for like old hot topic pony stuff buckle down is selling stuff like that Mm -hmm. get to that if you're looking for it and target is selling a twilight snow globe for just over 10 bucks yeah snow globes and twilight yay woo a bunch of new brushables have been spotted yeah we got images got like it's just a, t- a bunch of stuff. Of interest, there's like the sparkling and spinning skirt set, which uh-huh. is definitely new and interesting. Yep. <laughs> Big skirts. We also have the Princess Glitter Celebration brushable set. Uh, looks like Cadence and Celestia. And they look like they're water-filled, but they are not. But they are definitely interesting if you collect the brushables. Mm-hmm bunch more information about them at the links that you should be 
checking out. Some stock images of the new Equestria Girls dolls have been have been spotted on a Russian pony site. Mm-hmm. These are the new ones. New ones that the replaced, redesign. Yeah, the the I I guess you call them realistic. Less ones. creepy. <laughs> They're less creepy than their previous r- realistic esque ones that aren't the minis. Right. These aren't the minis, and they do look better. Still, not something I'd get, but I know some will. Definitely better than their previous ones. Yeah. New images of the Tempest Light Up and Guardians of Harmony fan series figures have appeared. Yes. There at least one of them, these we've seen a while back when they're teasing out one of the toy fairs. The Guardians of Harmony Twilight the, versus the Tempest fan series thing. one. Yeah. So we got some other images of them as well. And the horn thing glows. The horn thing glows. Yep. So that's kind of kind of neat. And Target is also apparently selling a Songbird bank. These are very similar to the earlier ones that we've seen, like those big ceramic banks. Yeah. For the, like the main six. And yeah, such. the ones that if I think there were like uh, Walmart before. Yeah, yeah, I've seen some of the ones that look very similar like that at Walmart, but this one's at Target. Yep, Target, and it's Songbird. Some new pony backpack activity things have appeared at a store in Norway. They're kind of off. Kind of weird. They're kind of off looking. They come with like a bunch of crayons. And they come with a bunch of crayons. All the crayons. Yeah, so usually you don't get them with that many. But they're kind of creepy looking. Their eyes are too low. They're just all sorts of misshapen. I guess it's sort of because they're supposed to be backpack things. Yeah. And all the backpack ponies have all been a little... Any which way, their eyes sit too low compared to where their mouth is and everything. And it looks unnerving because of that. Question will be is if they'll show up at places other than Norway. That is to be seen. (laughs) Pop Culture Shock Collectibles has grabbed a license to make figures for Hasbro characters, including Pony. This will be interesting. Yes, it will be. These are a little bit higher quality than some of the things that we've had. These are those collectible type thingamabobs. Yes. See what they make with that. Into our last section of news. The Season 6 DVD from Shout Factory is now available. Mm -hmm. So if you've been getting those, you can get that. Shout Factory also has another DVD titled Spring Into Friendship listed on Amazon. I'm not entirely certain what episodes are on it. But it does appear to be spring-themed, I guess, with that title. And the uh, cover features Pinky and Fluttershy. Huh. So, we'll s- Add a bit of spring into your step. Ah, uh, yes. Pinky definitely does have a spring to her step. Boing. <laughs> Box Office Mojo is reporting that the MLP movie has brought in around $50 million so far in revenue worldwide. Yeah. And it's pretty much more or less stopped... Air- um showing in the u.s there's still a handful of markets i believe japan will be the last one to have it in december but yeah it's probably not gonna get much higher than that yeah so if what it seems to be a pretty good number though hmm. and last bit of news pre-orders for the mlp movie are up on amazon right now as of recording only digital options are available but physical options should be coming shortly if they haven't already like i said that's just last i checked as of recording the official release dates are December 19th for digital copies and January 9th for physical ones. We also did get a short list of special features that are on the disc. They include like deleted scene, Equestria Girl shorts, and yep. featurettes. We got a music yeah. video of I'm the Friend You Need. Mm-hmm. And the Hanazuki short mm-hmm. that aired before the movie will apparently be on disc as well. Yeah, deleted scene. It's like, oh. Just says deleted scene. Just one? That makes me sad. Unless it's a typo and there's more than one. That'd be cool if there was more. Yeah. Um, also, I remember this is a Equestria Girl short, uh, short. I know I saw a version that said exclusive Equestria Girl short. Mm. So it might be exclusive. It might not be. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. It'll be interesting. Yes, it will be interesting. I might want to get that one on physical. I'm going to get the it. physical copy. Just to have it. Anyway, that is the news. Whew. Yeah. So... Moving on to some of our discussions, we're going to talk about a comic. Comic. Yeah, a comic. Yes, there's another comic out, but it has not shown up yet, unfortunately. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's sitting in the warehouse again. Yep. I should complain about that. I'm pretty sure that's the distribution warehouse from D8, or TFA sitting for no apparent reason. Anyway, 
Friendship is Magic number 60. This was the one that came out last week during our little off time. And see, so it was written by Christina Rice with art by Agnes Garboska and, of course, colors by Heather Breckel. Uh, in this, well, the Cutie Mark Crusaders have decided to do a little camp thing. Hmm. Camp out. Hmm. Does this mm. sounds familiar. Anyway, they're going to do this, all this stuff, and then Rarity comes by and turns out uh, Fancy Pants is coming out, off around with his, uh, I think it was niece. Yes, his niece. And they show up, and his niece doesn't seem to be having a good time. Oh, no. That's not good. Yeah, so, uh, that's more or less that is them trying to, uh, I guess, connect with the niece and help her out. Yeah. Gilded Lily, that's her name. Gilded Lily. Ugh, I'm going to be tripping over that. <laughs> Gilded Lily. <laughs> just call her Lily. Yeah, Yeah. so uh, that's the more or less just the comic. Um, Kind of lots of similarities to the Rumble episode. Not a whole lot, not, uh, not identical, but there's a lot of little similarities like the f- yeah, in this comic. It's kind of odd. It, Lots of the same themes, I should say. Sort of, yeah. Though I think the the f- primary theme is very different. the 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 main character or the conflict is different. Well, yeah, but so it's a different take on it, I guess. But it is the same basic, uh, and it is in the same basic theme of uh, being afraid of getting their cutie mark. But for different reasons. Yeah, but it's one. still so, the yeah, same it's, thing. It's well, somewhat different reasons, but also at the same time, some similar reasons. The fear of being locked into something. Yeah, this one wasn't really a fear of being locked in, though. It was a little bit Because she there. knew. She already knew. Yeah, she kind of knew, well. She knew what she liked. She yeah. Just, uh... The fear wasn't getting locked in. The fear is, you know, Not other people's up. result. Yeah. Uh, uh, reaction. To a degree. But anyway. So, I think it was di- definitely different enough. Yeah, I'm not saying it's the same, though. <laughs> yeah. I'm just noting that it's kind of similar, in many, including the camping part, too. Yeah. I'm wondering if they, you know, because IDW writers definitely get to see what's going to happen, obviously, or they wouldn't be able to do the interactions they've had so far. They they saw it and was like, that's a good idea, but we want to do something a little different. Yeah. Use as a, a point to go off of. Well, there was a kind of a weird subplot, too, that was kind of resolved very quickly <laughs> with Scootaloo. And the scene. Oh, yeah, that, that one. That kind of like was there, and then it was gone, and then it was back for a couple panels, then it's resolved. And I was like, okay. That one was a little odd. <laughs> it's kind of weird, but okay, sure. Um, Yeah, it's a decent ish- issue, I think, overall. I liked it. Yeah, it was fine. It's just, it's kind of like, oh, okay. Yeah. I liked it. I'd still recommend getting yeah, it. Yeah, it's, it's a good, it's a goodish one. Just, um, hmm, yeah. Yeah, go ahead and get it. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> yeah. I'd recommend picking it up. Four I, bucks. I liked it. Sure. It was really cheap. So, that's the comic. I guess we get to talk about the Equestria Girls stuff that's come out in the yeah, last couple of weeks. All seven of them. Oh, boy. So, yes, a lot of them have appeared. So, let's start with the first one. Overpowered. In this sunset, and then the rest find their powers are overpowered. Oh, no. And they please figure out why. Yep, and they figure out why. Yeah, please nerf. Yes. Yeah. yeah this one is um a kind of a thing. I think they kind of alluded to it. We actually alluded to it way back when during Legend of Everfree. I remember they talked about how in the future sunsets uh, powers would kind of go up a bit. Although apparently it's temporary. Yeah. Yeah. Because it was kind of like I remember we had that discussion. We kind of talked about like a kind of a radius or whatever, and that seems to be the case indeed. Except, well, she can't turn it off. Yeah. yeah that's so kind of the, that's the downside. Is none of them are are really in control anymore. Oh boy, they're not. They're only somewhat in control, but not really. Yeah, this one seems sort of like the they're doing it to establish something. The yeah try and mitigate, well, why can't they just do this all the time? Or why aren't they always doing this? Why are they still doing this when they could? Limitations. You know, just, yeah, they're, they're establishing a limitation so we don't get the questions, well, why aren't they just always using this? Yeah. Because if they do, things go haywire. Yeah. Um, Let's my, hope it doesn't bite them in the this, butt later. This, this thing, because now I guess we now know for sure these are, in fact, the shorts. I mean, we kind of last time we did, I wonder if these are actually the shorts, the shorts coming or this kind of some leftover ones or one. Turns out, yes, they are part of the new series. Um, I'm a little disappointed with the fact that they are still, in fact, two to four minutes or so. Yeah. Particularly this one. This is one of the things really illustrates. I really wish this is one that deserves 
more time. This, is, yeah. this concept really deserved more time than just about four minutes or whatever it was. I feel this could have gone to at least seven, ten, eleven minutes, something like that. And I think it just kind of suffers a little bit because of that. It just kind a of how bit. quick it, it kind goes. Of rushed. Especially since they just arrive at the... Oh, it's because Dash has been using her powers too much. And it just makes everyone... Overloads everyone's. Yeah. It's just like, where, how did how did Twilight come to that conclusion? Yeah. Uh, just, just gets because Dash was using hers constantly, and then her gem started to glow. And it's like, oh, I guess that's... I mean, it's kind of... You can kind of get from there, but... Yeah, and it's not it's not a horrible... It's not like they screwed anything up. Yeah, it's, it's not bad idea, like per se. More. It's just... Um, would have liked to see it, and it fleshed out a little bit. Yeah, it's, it's, it deserved more time on it. I would have liked to see it. And, you know, and then, you know, finding a way, okay, we can intentionally overload to weaponize for whatever reason at some point. Yeah. Because, <laughs> yeah, that was kind of crazy. It's AJ rips the door off her locker. Oh, crap. And then just stuffs it back in and bends it up even further. And yeah. I think it's kind of weird. She just, it's like she just made another thing explode. Except it was an apple. And Normally, it would only be like sugary well, confection, and now it's an apple, yeah, which has sugar, sugar but it means it's starting to affect more and more things. You think it just? I would think you know it'd be a bigger explosion <laughs> rather than just a. I don't know. It <laughs> might be. It might also be a bigger explosion for actual sugary yeah. things. And you're right. It's kind of weird. Oh yeah, and yeah. The sunset was just cared everyone all the time, all including the time. unfortunately Trixie. I'm sorry. Sorry, sunset. Uh, I'm so. Sorry. You don't deserve that. Try to say it's just all the animals are talking. To, oh, oh, uh, oh, oh, geez, all the animals, all the time. And Twilight had an ET parody. Yep, ET. That was that was pretty cool. Yeah, what the ET parody what happened with Rarity? Did anything happen? With Rarity? I don't think it did. Huh? I don't think it did. I can't remember. <laughs> But yeah, just Dash has just been running around for everything. Cause well, Why super speed have? is pretty useful. Yeah, I mean, I mean, literally, oh you, no, mustard. <laughs> Sandra doesn't even have a chance the, to fall. Yeah, I mean, if you don't think there's a, any consequences, if if you believe there's no there consequences, consequences to your super speed, of course you're gonna yeah. use your super speed. And then Zephyr shows up. <laughs> oh God! Same Zephyr exact sort breeze. of crap with uh, the like, same uh, sort of things you see all the time. He's not great. Not great. Fortunately, they show he's not great. I do like Dash's face. She pulled oh, and gosh, she was trying just, to duck, literally duck him. Just oh yeah, the, the disgust, whole just, uh, uh, yeah, disgusting. That is disgusting. <laughs> How he and, just kind of leans just, over with his arm. And now we know why Fluttershy is so upset looking at one. That, oh, those yeah, previews yeah, just, and everyone laughs, uh, but Fluttershy has just hands. It's not funny. That's disgusting. It's sleazy. Having someone just do that, yeah. pin you against the wall with yep. the arm, invading your personal space like that, should I? I would have expected, you know, a punch or a kick, right there. He would have deserved it, probably. But Dash is taking the high road. Well, she took the low road to get under his arm, but <laughs> <laughs> to take the high road. Also, they can't show that in something for kids. Yeah. Well, violence. Well, they have before, but still. You know, and for children. That's. The first one that's come out yeah, it, recently. It, another thing is, the thing is overpowered. It's kind of, it's all right. It just, it needed to be longer. It, just it wasn't deserved more. Enough. No. <laughs> yeah, it deserved more than what it got. Overpowered wasn't actually overpowered at all. It was underpowered. <laughs> oh. All right. The next one was the finals countdown. Do, 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 do. <laughs> yep. It's a great song. <laughs> I'm liking these uh, references. Yeah. In this, they study for finals. The main seven, the yep. humane seven study for their finals. Finals, hmm. Maybe finals. graduation's coming? Maybe, I don't know. Or maybe the time diff. just makes I don't no know. sense here. I know Ishii said that they're around 17, which around 17 means a lot can go <laughs> one to your either direction, really. Yeah. And there's also, someone said, though, they can't be seniors if they're 17. Well, actually... People can graduate at 17. My brother graduated at 17. Yeah. So. Also early, you know, if they're, they wouldn't be if early If you have a summer birthday, finals. you can graduate at 17 years old. I had a summer birthday. I didn't graduate at 17. You said you can. I did. I can't remember now. Because my brother's birthday is in yeah. late June. It's after graduation. So he graduated at 17. Yeah. Mine's around the same. Anyway. Yeah, like I said, they study for the finals. It's basically a montage with music. Yeah, it, it is a music. This it's is a music, music video. Music video, more or less. Um, with that, with yeah, with a, a story. Yeah. 
it's it's a bit interesting. It takes a page from um kind of eighties testing testing one two three. Yeah, well. Well, it's also kind of eighties. Yeah, it is a little bit eighties. But the story itself does take a page from testing testing one two three, where they go to study. It doesn't work, and, and Twilight figures out. Oh, they need custom to study tailors, in their own own way. Custom tailors to everyone's needs. Of course, some of the things that how they studied make no sense to me at all. Yeah. Like, how are you studying math while running around? It's not like yeah. in testing testing one two three. It was seeing the flashcards. There were none. Or just having Angel hold the flashcards so makes, an makes all the difference. Or apparently playing chess helps you study math. <laughs> sure. <For a> sunset. <laughs> Although it, it seems Sunset actually didn't need that much help, if we're going to be honest. Probably not. It looked but like... she wasn't studying very well either. Yeah. Well, It is interesting in the very beginning with all their faces. Yeah, Sunset, sunset was just, just like... kind of a deadpan, uh, bored. Just kind Everyone of else okay. was horrified. It's like, really? Everyone else horrified. Twilight's just smiling. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just expecting a phone to gift of that, just the pan, and then that's my fetish. <laughs> just like that Scooby Doo one. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Although you'd have to make a bigger smile. You have to edit in a bigger smile, but people are talented at that, so get yep. on it. Chop, yep. chop. Uh, but it's decent. It's it's a fun little yeah, it's song. All right. it's a, it's a, it was a fun song. It's it was. It's kind of, yeah, kind of that 80s sports montage, which yeah. I suspect was intentional. And they all got A's. All A's. Very A's. degrees of A's, but... Dash and AJ got A minuses. The Fluttershy the... can't see if she got a plus or a minus yeah. or anything because her hands in the Probably got an A plus plus, of course. Yeah, and, and Sunset got an A plus. Yep. So did Rarity, actually. Yeah. No one got a flat yeah, A did, as far as we can tell. I, did, for maybe I also just like the fact that, yeah, they're kind of acknowledged. And yeah, Sunset also is a pretty gifted student, so she's not going to really have too much trouble with this sort of thing either. Yeah. You just like seeing your wife who's get good grades. <laughs> well, it's established. You're both very smart. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. There's also I just like the bit where just AJ and Sunset were both just playing around, including stucking the books. And then whoop, and AJ was kind of annoyed when Sunset grabbed the book out of the middle of the pile. He ruined my stack, <laughs> my building. But AJ likes building things, so that's her science, I guess. She built a yeah. molecule. Yeah, she built a molecule. Light up molecule. I mean, yeah, it was it was decent. It was fine. The next one. Oh boy, mm. Star Crossed. Ooh, in it. Twilight and Timber have a date. Oh, wait. It's a hangout. Yeah. It's a date. It's weird. It's... It's gross. It's cliche. It's gross and disgusting, and I hate it. It's it's really cliche. Uh, I guess it just didn't draw us in. Mm. We weren't drawn to it. Hmm... <laughs> The pun at the beginning was kind of funny. Right. The gravity joke. Yeah. It was kind of funny. But other than that, it... It's... Eh. Yeah. It's... It's it it's the problem yeah. is still Timber and Twilight, I still feel, have no real chemistry and just feel super forced. And what is interesting about this one is um the hangout thing. It's like the writers know it's not popular and it's, they insist on doing it anyway. It's kind of weird, you know? I didn't get that out of this, really. That's that's what I was kind of getting out of the whole uh, insisting it's not a date thing. It kind of feels like it's almost like the writers know it's not popular and that they're going to keep going with it anyway. Um, the other thing was, what well, gives me hope, though, Starcross is not a good thing. Starcross means doomed to fail. <laughs> like Romeo and Juliet. Hopefully uh... not like that fail. Hopefully don't fail like that. Do not fail <laughs> like that. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think that's what it is. No, no, I don't think so. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, cross, Star Cross does mean doomed to fail. Yeah, it does, but usually they, it gets misused a lot too, so. But yeah, it was, it was a thing, it was just your standard, we're gonna go on a date, and it's gonna be perfect, and then everything goes wrong. Yeah. But everything worked out in the end anyway, somehow. It was kind of cliche, it was a thing. I don't like it. <laughs> this should not surprise anyone, really. No, it's not Timber's not. At all. Yeah, it's like yeah, we got we got rid of Flash, and only to get replaced with Timber. He's not great either. That is still better than Flash. Though. Flat, better than Flash, but again, that bar was so low, it was six feet under the ground. <sighs> anyway, next one was My Little Shop of Horrors. <laughs> <laughs> Love the title. <laughs> yeah. See more. But yeah, it's. I like this one. This one, Twilight waters plants. Feed me. And well, 
the plants come alive. Feed me. Yes. And it's it's kind of creepy, but also kind of cool. I thought yeah. it was really well done. It's another one of the music video ones. Yeah. It's a big song, and it's really yeah. well done. It's really well done. The thing is, it's kind of weird. Like, Twy doesn't, like, immediately kind of pick up on, the plants are singing along with me. <laughs> yeah. And it's kind oh, of weird. It takes a while cool. to kind of realize that, um, hey, wait. <laughs> wait, something's off here. And when they start, it you know, takes Applejack coming and pointing out the obvious. Well, she knew something was going wrong because she called Applejack. I know, but well, Applejack comes she... in and says, "That modern Karen's got magic all over." <laughs> and somehow the solution is more water, more water, normal water, not magical water. Just kind of flood it. It's like drink lots of water to flood things out of your system. Yeah, it's still kind of odd. <laughs> Either yeah, that or I the, mean, the water just yeah, the kind of the setup the is kind of odd. I mean, it was a fun song and it was kind of. A fun visuals and everything, and that the you know one plant kind of. <laughs> that was a Venus flytrap, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that's yeah. It's, it's still kind of <laughs> odd. It's just kind of the, it, the it setup. Was, to, I the don't... setup was odd, but I think the result yeah. was was good. The payoff was nice, but the setup was just kind of strange. It's just Twilight just not getting it. It's kind of odd. She didn't. Oh, hey, up they're on talking. The fact that's cool. <laughs> that's cool. Hey, I wait. mean, on one hand, yeah, she could, at this point should be kind of used to magic. By the other hand, she should know that something's a little amiss if magic is. She's not actively doing anything. Magic's still happening. Yeah, they don't actually explain where the magic came. They kind of show the that implication they... is it's magic from leaking out of the portal. Yeah, like before with Juniper. So it looked like that might be coming up more often from here on out because we still got several more yep. more episodes to go through. Yeah, we do. Speaking of, the next one, Display of Affection. I thought this was going to go somewhere completely different based on the title. <laughs> I think it's still mine. <laughs> In this, Rarity designs a storefront, basically. Yes. A window display. Yes. And it goes bad. Oh, no. Because she can't and figure out she's at a creative roadblock. Yep. She hits a creative she roadblock. She even tried to use cheese. <gasps> Rarity. Whoa, what? <laughs> what? I don't think it's that kind of... I think it's plural chi, maybe? I don't know. I would <laughs> not surprise me entirely if at one point Rarity got so desperate was... she actually tried to use cheese as a material. <laughs> maybe? I don't know. But yes, this one's a bit interesting as well. It establishes something... I think it's more about sunset in the interesting parts than in his yeah, Rarity. Indeed. Yes. Establishing Sunset is an artist. Apparently Sunset is Banksy. That's not that's that's not a good idea. I well maybe. Banksy's not be. a not great. He's not perfect, but let's just say he's said done some things which are not good. Yeah. He's also kind of uh let's just say some of the th his artwork is uh let's just say I know a lot of people really don't like it and not for the things reasons you might think. Yeah, there there's ups and downs on that one, but he is definitely well known. Yeah, that's the only reason they called her Flanksy, because, well, it gets used, it's Jay Costco's Banksy, he's so well-known. Yeah, it's so well-known. Also, it's, he's, like, the, the 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 head figure for that kind of a thing, the anonymous yeah. um, oh, again, street art. Street art artists do not like that, and the fact that he's the one who's so well-known. Yeah. But, yes, Sunset fixes the window display yeah. to help out. Interesting. Okay, since it's an artist, which is cool and all, but she's actively breaking the law. Breaking the law. Breaking the law. <sighs> yes. Oh. But it is a little bit interesting. Display of affection and sunset helping rarity. Is this a ship? Is this becoming a thing? It's already a thing. Trust me on that. I know for <laughs> a fact that sunset and rarity is a fairly common one, actually. Yeah. But it's kind of interesting. It, it, yeah, it's, it's not. It's not bad. I it's like it. It's interesting because again establishes a new thing about sunset, which again she's an anonymous street artist. Yeah, she and she's a good an artist. artist. Yeah. She, she's good at it. And Rarity's can be a little crazy. <laughs> well, <laughs> she was that's totally not new. <laughs> willing to uh, grovel. She was totally willing to grovel for the compliment of adequate. Well, from certain I don't know figures adequate. Was, what's is her a face? What, where's she, which episode was she from? From the show, Friend Friendship is Magic. I'm trying to remember which one was it. I can't remember. Was it the Honest Apple? Not it, even Honest. No, no, I don't no, think so. No. But it, I don't know. I don't remember. Um, anyway, I just remember she was in the show. <laughs> yeah. 
Second to last one that's come out is A Little Birdie Told Me, in which Fluttershy cheats. No, she doesn't. <laughs> Shut up, Trixie. Uh, so, yeah, the they're having a test. A big test, apparently. Tweet, tweet. Yes. And as they're about to start the test, birds come in and start talking to Fluttershy. Fluttershy, Fluttershy talks me. back. Trixie thinks she's cheating, and the birds are giving her answers. Fluttershy says no, and goes up on the board and proves it and by doing a super complicated math problem. And Trixie still misunderstands. And Trixie still misunderstands. Yeah. <laughs> going and asking birds for trigonometry help. You know, the weird thing is the answer that Fluttershy gave the birds has nothing to do with what she said as the birds were talking about, so I still think she may have been cheating. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, so you can divide this by, by two, and that does solve the problem. But then she says it has something to do with identifying sticks. It has this nothing to do with math. This is fine. What is it? I what don't remember the book. The honest and what, Trixie? I can't remember. And observant. The ah, honest and observant, that's Trixie. What it was, yes. <laughs> yes. And of course, Rhinox. Yeah. I mean, Cranky Doodle, but still. Yes. Same voice actor. Yeah. Yep. Rhinox. Yeah. It was, um, it was, it was pretty Bring straightforward. It on. Nothing really major here. Yeah. Kind of weak. Kind of not bad, just kind of eh. Yeah. It, it was a middle. It's kind of a filler. We're all kind of filler. Trixie's just a jerk. Trixie's what do you know? An unobservant. Unobservant. <laughs> the, the deceitful Half and unobservant. Yes. <laughs> and the last one. Super Squad Goals. Hmm. Yes. In this, we see the power... Pun- the, the, not power ponies. Nope. It's, well, seven. sort of. It's like the equivalent yeah, for the power ponies, seven. really. The, the Humane Seven in their powered-up superhero costumes. Stop, stop a, bank a, a, a uh, jewel thief. Jewel thief. Jewel thief. They stop him. They stop him. And that's it. Yeah, and they go through the sequence. And surprise! It's a comic. Yeah. It's a comic. By Sunset. Yep. The artist. The artist. Hey! It's a little interesting, the sequence of events that they go through. They all have to have a part, and some of them feel kind of forced. Yeah, and some of them feels like you're kind of putting the wrong person that Josh charged of that one. Yeah. It's just like, this could have been solved a lot quicker, too. <laughs> yeah. Dash is really fast, except when she's I think not. This is another one where I feel like they took a concept and didn't do it quite justice much like overpowered yeah. it's uh because we kind of talked about this way way back way back we wanted he said you know after the legend of everything says so that we said we kind of wanted to see this kind of superhero type thing and we see it and it's all uh not real it's all sunset's little story a comic yeah it's all our comic and it's like oh mm, hmm. that's a little disappointing kind of we were kind of hoping for this you know to actually go somewhere yeah I wanted more. Yeah, and again, it's also the actual thing is just kind of short, and it feels like a lot of it's just a lot of the problems we have with it regarding the misuse of the, I guess, their various powers is kind of a a result of having to be short. Yeah, I mean, because yeah, Dash is speeding. Dash is makes super sense. fast. That makes sense. Go run after the guy. Tack run running tackle. That's gonna hit pretty hard at that speed. Yeah, it's like she's really fast, except when she's not. Yeah. Except when it would be useful. And then again, who knows? Maybe it's that limitation coming back, kicking back in. Except it's only limited because they yeah. are trying to limit it. I don't know. For a short person, um, it'd be fine. So it's like... And also the Applejack. Uh, trying to open the door. Applejack, the one with stra- super strength. They do to... open the door later. because they know, but she's the just building, sitting there just prying like, and it's like, come on, Applejack. Just open the door. We've seen what you can do. <laughs> just rip it open. Or Rarity, you use the gem thing to trap the, the thief at the end. Why didn't you use it to grab him at the yeah. beginning? <laughs> Yeah, and then, or Twilight, you grabbed Sunset from falling. Why didn't you grab the thief from running? Yeah, it's also like Sunset really didn't have any real... Sunset, why did you jump? She could have just... Twilight could have just grabbed him anyway. Yeah. So anyway, it's weird because Sunset didn't really have any real purpose in this particular thing. It was at the end finding so the, why. So she found out you didn't have to steal it to impress her. Yeah. Why? And get him to break down and admit. Although the <laughs> best part was the very end. You have a long time to think about this. In jail! Oh. That was great. Dash, you take a little too much joy in that. <laughs> it was great. Yeah, it's just, yeah, and then it was just real to be a comic by Sunset. Yeah. Okay. Furthering the whole she's an artist thing, and also she just stares directly at the viewer because fourth wall breakage. Yep. It's like, she's what are you aware. doing with Sunset? What are they doing there? It's she's like aware. establishing Sunset as someone definitely interesting. Yeah, uh, so she's, what's, she's another, yet yeah, another character who's broken the fourth wall in the way. Yep. Yep. Along with Pony Twilight, Pinky, Discord, Trixie, and Spike. And Spike. And maybe Rarity. 
Yeah. And maybe Applejack, depending on your interpretation, a couple scenes. Yeah. I think the only one who might have not broken the fourth wall at this point is Fluttershy. Of the main six, anyway. Yeah. Or main characters, I should say. Those are the shorts. Yeah. Don't know how many we're going to be getting in the yeah, next that, couple so, weeks. Yeah, we've gotten 11 so far. Yes, but we don't know if the pace is going to keep up, because yeah. now they're being released on YouTube. Yeah, they've been released and they're acting like, oh, no, we didn't release them two weeks <laughs> early or anything. No, shut up. <laughs> yeah. So the real question is, is the pace going to increase? Is, yeah. is it going to be the same on the on the app at yeah, least? we'll find out soonish. It so. might have gone, they might have been released early and they're like, okay, guys, no, please don't do that. Yeah, so we might not get any new ones by next couple weeks. We'll find out. But we'll find out and we'll figure it out. Anyway, we do have some fan content to try and get through before we run on way too long. Because we probably are getting there. Yeah, we're fine at this point. So, yes. Uh, I will start out with music. I'm going to feature one song this week. Just one? Yeah, just one. It's It's been an interesting... We had How a many big had? album. Just one. Just one? Just one? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Like I said, just one. And it is I Blank Two Apples... Not safe for books. This is just a fun, upbeat electronic track. It's, it just sounds really good. The it's got really good production values. It's it's fun to listen to. It's happy. Not a lot of vocal clip. It's just a one little bit in there. Mm-hmm. But the duck is great. Yep. The duck effect is it's quack. just a quack, just two. It's perfectly well timed. Yeah, it's just a fun song to listen to, and I highly recommend listening yeah. to it. It's got a very light opening until everything starts kicking in. And then, yeah, once it kicks in, it's very hu- upbeat and happy. Yep. Very, uh, in way, some ways, it kind of reminds me of the 90s. <laughs> Back when we were yep. still innocent. <laughs> and running. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a pretty fun song. It is. I'll say that. I like it quite a bit. That's the music, but we got some fanfic stuff, fan so take stuff, that away. Yes. Uh, first off, updates. The Intention Library side story is updated with a new chapter. Yes. And I'm trying to actually remember, got read it a while <laughs> ago. A while. It came out like the night we love yeah. recording last. I'm trying to remember exactly what happened in, in this one. Let's see, Rarity. Oh, right. Um, let's see. Oh, I remember. The now. necklace again. In the, oh, it, it dreams. Fills, it fills the blank yeah. in the main story. That's what it was, yeah. Between when Twilight kicks Rarity out and when Twilight comes back and calls her. It yeah. fills in the, the that, that blank. aspect, that area of when the call happened and why yeah. it took so long for Rarity to respond. Yep. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, I read the two weeks ago. And I'm not reaching not remember. Same here. I was like, what happened? Because <laughs> I read so many fanfics. But yep. But that's what happened. Yeah. It's actually kind of interesting. Yeah, just, a little like e- just a little extra. Like it's supposed to be. Yep. It's a side story. Yeah. And featured though, yes, new fic. Um, this one is called my, "Well, My Mare Friend's a Princess" by a, All Art is Quite Useless. <laughs> it's a Twi Dash. Yay! Dash meets up with an old uh, classmate, and uh, her competitive streak kicks in, and she decides she has to one up this jerk. <laughs> <laughs> we would use other words if we were allowed to. <laughs> and so she, and this person who's talking about how you know well off she is and blah blah, and she's set for life, and she got a great. And then, well, I'm dating a princess. <laughs> sort of. That's how it sort it's of went what Close happens. <laughs> and, well, then Dash goes off on a quest to uh, Find fake a princess. <laughs> and, and eventually settling on Twilight. Twilight, who seems to go along with it, but she has her own ulterior motive. <laughs> yeah. This is kind of silly. It is kind of silly. And I'm pretty sure you kind of enjoyed it. I did enjoy it. <laughs> it's a Twi Dash, and it's a fun Twi Dash. It is really fun, Twi Dash. Yeah, and it's pretty obvious Twilight actually has feelings for Dash. And uh, <laughs> Dash is oblivious as hell. And apparently everyone else knew. At least Pinky knew. Yeah. Um, the thing is also, 
Dash didn't even occur, didn't, couldn't even occur to Dash to go to Twilight because uh, possibly because she didn't occur to her, it might just be Dash didn't see Twilight as a princess in her head just doesn't occur to her just not used it's, oh right you're oh, a right, princess you too you're a princess I'm I do a like princess. a lot of the, are you a princess too yeah I like this the celestious straight <laughs> straight as a board I ever oh. wonder why all the cards are stallions the thing is I can't I don't want to spoil it too much but I'm I think my one complaint about this one really is well there's a couple little typos here and there but um typos I can usually forgive yeah. for minor. but this one is for me is um towards the end it got a little vindictive a little more vindictive than it kind of, you know, towards the end. It's kind of like, it kind of was going a little far. Maybe a little. Dash and Twilight are going a little too far, I feel. Um, I understand the character was a jerk, but it kind of feels like, uh, it's I a guess, little uh, too far. Uh, maybe, maybe, I guess. It's like, wow, you're really kind of rubbing it in now. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's like one of those, it can be fun to just take, kind of, take, just stoop down to someone else's level and really rub it in their face. But it, take, yeah, it was, it was pretty much the point was to take the other character off of their pedestal. Yeah. To knock them down, which was needed. Yeah. It just kind of feels kind of, gall- although I also have a question, I, again, the spoilers, but I don't want to spoil it, but there's, it seems like something that happened which seemed that would kind of come back and bite them later on. Maybe. Because of how public that would be. Yeah. <laughs> I want a sequel about that. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know. Maybe by by the time it comes back to him, it would be perfectly fine. <laughs> uh, yeah. It depends. Uh, but, yeah. Considering how it ended. Yeah. It's, it's again, it's a lot of fun. It is. There is uh, there is some language. Yes. Yeah, there is some language. Watch out for that. It is T-rated T, though. Um, but it's uh, it's fun. Mm-hmm. It's silly. It's Toy Dash. Yeah. Yeah. Go check it out. It is. Go, go read it. It's good. Yeah, it was this or another one. And I'll, uh, the other one, I'll wait until it's updated again because, well, that one's still ongoing. This one isn't. Yeah. This one's finished. And it's uh, 18,000 words. 18 and a half thousand words. Yeah. So a pretty quick read. Yeah. Not too horribly long. Let's check it out. Yep. Go check it out. And that brings us to the end of our episode. The end. Yes, the end. Finn. Oh, almost forgot. Um, The Equestria Girl stuff. <laughs> There was also a trailer which didn't really show anything. It was a new, it was a, the question they said was new, but not. Oh really. right, there was a but trailer. But the music. There was also a music. music. I totally forgot about that. Yeah, too. the song. It hasn't appeared in any of the shorts, but it's apparently official. It got somehow uploaded by mistake or something. I don't know exactly what happened. Apparently, it's just not supposed to be out yet. Yeah, I it didn't like trailer. it though. It, it was, was kind of fun. generic poppy, but it it's really well made. Yeah, I kind of so, like it too. And so I wanna, I kinda, it's like, why do I like this? Although you could ask like that about that. the entire show. Yeah. It's one, I think it's one of those, yeah, I shouldn't like this. Kind of like the whole show. But yeah, it is actually a pretty good song. So, yeah. Yeah, so I almost, I totally forgot about that. Same here. Totally forgot about that. I'll put it in the show in the description part. <laughs> even though it's not till here. In the show notes, uh, don't worry about it. Anyway, that is the end. So, I hope you liked what you heard. If you did and you want to listen to all of our episodes you can you can find all of our episodes past future present at pony411.libsyn.com remember again that is l-i-b-s-y-n so go there find all of them we're also on itunes just search for pony401 give us five stars subscribe to it so it auto downloads and all that sort of stuff you can also find us on stitcher stitcher.com or the mobile apps just search for us pony411 we're also on google play Go to play.google.com slash music and search for Pony411. You'll will you will find us. You can also find us on YouTube, youtube.com slash pony411. Go subscribe to us there, like our videos, comment on them if you want to. That whole thing with YouTube. And yes. hopefully they don't just randomly start deleting other people's accounts. <sighs> We're also on Ponyville Live, so if you go there to look at a whole bunch of other shows, which they do have, you can find us among them. It will update this with the YouTube our YouTube page, so check us out there. We also air on Ponyville FM every Tuesday, 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern, so tune in then, or tune in then during other times, because there's great music going on there as well, live DJs and such, mm-hmm. as well as, like, release parties for new big albums, like the State of Sugar thing that we mentioned had one. Yeah. If you'd like to get a hold of us, you can email us. We are pony411podcast at gmail.com. So send us comments, criticisms, suggestions. If you just want to say hi, you can just say hi. If you want to send us something to look at, email us there, and we will take a look at it. Yes. 
You can also find us on Facebook, facebook.com slash 241. Go like our page there. We will post updates when they happen. You can message us or whatnot there as well. We're also on Twitter at Pony411. Go hmm. follow us, tweet us. That's the best way for quick little communication. See us tweet nonsense. Or the Incredibles. Talk about stuff that isn't Pony related. <laughs> we so won't do that too often. Yeah, we don't do that too often. But this but was kind of important. It, it's, it's the Incredibles. <laughs> it's incredible that it happened. Uh, get out. <laughs> Give me a couple minutes and I will. <laughs> Yes, you can also follow us on a personal account. I am at Alcatraz with a 7 instead of T and an underscore at the end, and he is at Nemesis Prime 1. Yep, Transformers reviews and pictures and... What was the other thing? I was complaining about something. I was complaining about my power going out. Oh, I want a DeLorean Transformer. Yes. Another one, Swindler. Make a new one, third parties, come on. Just DeLorean everything. All the DeLoreans. All the DeLoreans. Anyway, yes, that brings us to the end. That's it. Go home. It's over. It's over. <laughs> Yes, I hope you like what you heard, and hope you tune in next time yes, in two weeks because two weeks, we are in bi-weekly when we figure out something to talk about. Things will happen. Um, there's a couple ideas. Yeah, um, we have a couple ideas, depending on what happens. It depends with the really what go. happens with the question girl shorts. Yeah, it really all depends, but we'll, we'll have things to talk about one way or another. But until then, remember, please, pony responsibly. See ya. Goodbye. Goodbye.